the very concept of owning energy might disappear, replaced by an energy cloud, everywhere, all the time. But with great power comes an even greater question. If energy is wireless, who ensures access? Could governments weaponize it? Could corporations charred by the mile by the breath? And what happens if someone or something decides to shut all off? The Maxwell microcoil isn't just about cars. Picture spacecraft fueled wirelessly in orbit, robots in disaster zones running indefinitely, medical implants powered without surgery. It's not just transportation evolving. It's human capability itself. And here's where things get even stranger. A quiet pilot program has already begun. Not in Silicon Valley, not in Europe, but in a mid-sized city whose name few outside its borders know. Street by street, road by road, microcoils are being embedded beneath the asphalt. No public announcement. No headlines. Just silent preparation. Locals report test vehicles gliding past without stopping a charge. Yet no one can explain where the power is coming from. Meanwhile, whispers of this technology have triggered a global scramble. Oil-rich nations see their dominance threatened. Battery manufacturers are panicking. And governments are drafting emergency policies, preparing for a world where energy can no longer be bottled, sold, or controlled the old way. One microcoil, an entire global energy economy, begins a fracture. But it doesn't stop with vehicles. Imagine rail systems powered wirelessly across continents. Cargo ships cruising without fuel. Even aircraft silently sustained mid-flight by invisible energy fields beamed from the ground. We're not just talking about evolution in transport. This could be the single greatest leap in human mobility since the invention of the wheel. But not everyone wants this future. In the shadows, nations are drawing battle lines, not over land, but over invisible currents in the air. Whoever controls microcoil technology controls energy itself and, by extension, controls the modern world. Reports suggest alliances are forming in secret. Tech companies partnering with defense agencies, energy giants negotiating with governments, all racing to claim the patent that could rewrite history. Behind the scenes, two names keep surfacing. One, a private startup rumored to have ties with former Maxwell Research Archives. The other, an unexpected government program, operating out of facilities so secret, even its funding is classified. Neither has stepped into the spotlight, yet. But insiders say their breakthroughs are months, not years, away from public unveiling. What happens when a first city powered by wireless microcoils goes online? Do rival nations sabotage it? Do old energy empires collapse overnight? Are we staring down the first energy war of the 21st century, one fought not with oil or gas, but with resonance and frequency? And then there's a rumor, no one wants to confirm, that a prototype microcoil car has already completed a coast-to-coast -coast journey across the United States, without a single recharge. If true, the technology isn't coming, it's already here. Weeks after the first rumors, the world finally saw it. In a quiet press conference, no fanfare, no fireworks, a prototype vehicle rolled onto the stage. It looked ordinary until the engineer lifted the hood. No massive battery, no gas tank, just a coil, no bigger than a coin, glowing softly. The announcement was brief. The implications? Endless. Within hours, markets crashed. Oil futures plummeted. Entire industries began scrambling to survive. And outside, millions watched their cities, their cars, their lives, on the edge of transformation. The energy race wasn't coming. It had begun. James Clerk Maxwell's equations once reshaped our understanding of the universe. Today, his microcoil may reshape our civilization itself. But here's the question no one dares to ask. If energy is everywhere, who decides who gets to use it? A coil so small, it fits in the palm of your hand. Yet today, it just powered a full-size car. No massive batteries. No roaring engines. Just pure, elegant physics. This isn't science fiction. This is Maxwell's legacy, reborn. For over a century, scientists have dreamed of wireless energy. Power so compact, so efficient, it could transform the way we move, work, and live. But what if I told you the breakthrough didn't come from a huge lab or billion-dollar factory, but from an innovation so tiny, almost looks impossible? 
This is the Maxwell Microcoil, a device so efficient it's redefining how electric vehicles can be powered and potentially how energy itself can be shared across the world. To understand this breakthrough, we need to rewind nearly 150 years to James Clerk Maxwell, the Scottish physicist who gave us the very equations that describe electricity, magnetism, and light. His theory has laid the foundation for wireless energy. But only now, with modern materials and nanotechnology, have we unlocked their full potential. Researchers have miniaturized resonant inductive coupling, the same principle that powers wireless phone chargers, but scaled to the handle the immense demands on an entire electric vehicle without the bulk of traditional batteries. At its core, this microcoil isn't about storing energy. It's about transferring it. Using ultra-high-frequency resonance, it can capture and deliver energy wirelessly from a compact energy source. Imagine roads embedded with these coils, charging cars as they drive, with zero cables, zero downtime. In tests, a coil smaller than a coin powered a full-size EV for several kilometers, proving that wireless, continuous energy transfer isn't just possible, it's happening. This isn't just about making EVs more efficient. It's about reimagining the entire energy ecosystem. Cars charging as they move, cities powered without visible grids, even space missions fueled by wireless beams of energy. And here's the shocking part. The technology is so scalable that it could fit into consumer electronics, home energy systems, and yes, even tiny drones or robots. One invention, endless possibilities. Maxwell's equation sparked a scientific revolution in the 19th century. Today, his tiny coil may ignite the next one. A future where power is everywhere, yet nowhere to be seen. Imagine this. Highways lined with invisible energy grids. Every lane, every mile silently recharging cars as they move. No more charging stations. No waiting. No range anxiety. Energy flows like air, unseen, yet everywhere. Cities could run entirely on distributed microcoils, eliminating towering power lines and massive substations. Homes, hospitals, and industries could tap into localized wireless energy, reducing dependence on fossil fuels and fragile infrastructure. But is this just theory? Not anymore. Field tests have already begun. In controlled experiments, researchers embedded Maxwell-inspired coils under short road sections. A prototype EV drove over them and maintained charge in real time. The result? Seamless energy handoff. With over 90% efficiency, that's higher than most wireless phone chargers today. Yet, beneath this marvel lies a storm of challenges. Energy loss at scale, manufacturing costs of nanomaterial coils, electromagnetic safety concerns. All must be solved before this technology powers our highways. And then there's the bigger question. Who controls the power grid when energy becomes wireless? Will it liberate us or centralize power in fewer hands? China, the U.S., and Europe are already in a silent race to patent and deploy microcoil infrastructure. Whoever masters this first won't just dominate the EV market. They can control the backbone of 21st century energy. And here's the twist. What started as a humble coil might spark the biggest energy arms race— since the discovery of electricity itself. What the public doesn't know is that this technology isn't confined to labs anymore. Quiet field tests are happening in remote locations, desert highways, closed military bases, even offshore platforms. Sources suggest that prototype vehicles have already completed hundreds of miles without traditional batteries, powered solely by embedded microcoils. If true... This means the energy revolution is far closer than anyone admits. A world powered by wireless microcoils could collapse entire industries. No gas stations, fewer power plants, no giant charging networks. But it could also create new ones. Dynamic road-based energy subscriptions, portable energy markets, even peer-to-peer -peer energy sharing between vehicles. 